Oh my god, I just got this thing in the mail. Ooh. Okay, look. Last thing before I go. Well, apparently it must be me because it came out of me, right? Everything that comes out of me is me. What if I did a live like on Christmas Day when nobody would show up? I made this doll from Budsies. So basically I sent it a picture of my friend. Who are all these people who are high on drugs telling me that I look like- I mean, honestly, the, the package wasn't even sealed. 2023 sucked. Honestly, this lighting is so terrible. Literally, I, this video was not planned at all and I'm eating exactly how I feel. Although pizza is great, I love pizza and this is one of, it doesn't look good on camera, but it's literally one of the best tasting pizzas I've had in my entire life. If you live in the Bronx, comment down below because I will tell you which pizza is the best pizza in the Bronx. Anyway, I'm literally sitting here by myself, TV off, nobody home, no music, no alcohol, nothing. Just having this pizza, staring off into space. And I'm like, 2023 sucked. I don't remember a year within the last decade that was worse than this one. This is, it's like this year got swallowed into a hole and like, I don't know what happened. Like, I, I don't even know if I lived this year. Maybe, maybe I'm not even here. Maybe this isn't real. I don't even know. This is leftover, by the way. I should have heated it up more. When I turned on this video and all I really wanted to say was 2023 sucks. And then just put it out there. I can't imagine that there is one person, one ordinary person like me who had a really, really successful 2023. If you're there, raise your hand. Really? That makes me feel a lot better because I need to hear from people like you. I need like more information from people like you because I mean, I guess if I was socializing more, I would probably hear that everybody else's 2023 was better than mine. Clearly I need to socialize more. Hmm. I need to put more effort into socializing and staying connected with friends in 2024, right? Mm -hmm. What's really cool about what I'm doing right now is the fact that I don't have to release this video ever. I'm actually just not being alone right now. I should delete, I'm gonna delete this video. What? What? You, <laughs> are you gonna, I wonder if you're gonna think I'm weird. Oh, you know what? I was over at a friend's today helping him move and I made him this doll. <laughs> I made this doll from Budsies. So basically I sent it a picture of my friend. They get all the details really, really on point. This looks like a hat from here, but it's his gray hair, brown eyes, green rimmed glasses. This is very, very close. His favorite color is green. Anyway, he's keeping me company. I gave this doll to him for his birthday. So it's just me, my Ron doll, my pizza. Momo is on my foot right now. This was probably the best part of 2023. Sitting here, talking to myself. No, talking to the camera. And I don't know if I'm talking to you yet because I don't think I'm actually gonna post this video. If I do end up posting this video and I am talking to you, wouldn't it be cool if like we can actually talk? <laughs> yeah, like actually talk. I think 2023 was kind of awful because I had so many new things stack up and every new thing had its own set of learning curves. I literally had zero time for me for self-reflection. The only thing that kind of got me back into a state of self-reflection was starting this vlog on October 30th. And honestly, I never had any intention of starting a vlog ever. My husband just said, you know, start vlogging. And he was like, you should vlog because you're interesting. And I'm like, vlogging is something that is a real skill. So if you don't know what you're doing, then you're not gonna be interested at all no matter how interesting you are i guess i don't know but i started it and it was just a way for me to start investing in myself again in a way basically just journaling all of the self-reflection that i didn't do this year i'm like self-reflecting on crack <laughs> there's nothing more that i like to do than becoming more self-aware because the more self-aware i become the more healed i feel in general the more patience i have for all different kinds of people the more empathy i have for all different kinds of people and the more empathy i have for myself <laughs> but something i've been thinking about lately is how much time i spent alone this year i mean obviously i live with my husband it was just pretty much him and i for the entire year just imagine an entire year not socializing with family or friends i mean obviously i wouldn't say the entire year if you look at episodes 14, I did some socializing. Between January and October, I've socialized with other people besides my husband five times. And then within the last two months, I've socialized 
Scott, Jackie, and Kelly, um, Ron. I don't know if I, three or four times. That's been my entire year. Five years ago, I was really determined to not be a loner because even though I love spending time alone, I absolutely, I'm obsessed with spending time alone actually. I don't have like social anxiety, like I don't have problems around people. So I just thought, oh, I should really socialize because my brain is gonna start atrophying if I don't have conversations with other people. Like I kind of like, accidentally got into acting and that's like a, a really crazy story of being drunk and signing up on Groupons when I had no money. What, is this story time? What the hell? It's like nobody cares. But anyway, I'm probably not gonna post this so I'm still just gonna talk and get it out. So I did, I went to the class and that was when I realized that you don't, like we don't have as much control of our brain as we think because here I was five years ago, right? So I was 31. I've been living on my own since I was 16, pretty mature not shy, an extrovert in every sense of the word except for the fact that I love spending time alone. And I go to this class and the first assignment for us newcomers was to get up on stage and read a monologue. And I get up on stage and I can't get my mouth open. My throat starts closing up. My bladder starts feeling heavy. I'm feeling tight in the chest and I got off the stage. I was like, wait a minute. What just happened? I'm not even shy. Like what just happened? Okay. I need to get back on the stage and do this again. Cause what? Cause my brain ain't gonna tell me what to do. That's for sure. That's number one. But two, I was like, okay, clearly this is the universe telling me that I need to not be so antisocial. Not be a loner, Noah, don't be a loner. So I just went with it. I went with the flow. And five years later, I had built a connection with people and I socialized to fair amount. It's not necessarily that I liked socializing during the five years between 18 and 20 and, and the beginning of this year, which was January. I was going from one gig to another, going through the learning curve of learning what acting was all about. Because on it, honestly, before 2018, I had no freaking idea what it meant to be an actor and what that entailed and anything about the industry. I don't know many films, <laughs> like quite literally the worst person to get into acting. You know, there was a lot to learn. And I spent a lot of time doing that and just working and socializing and getting to know myself better. And then this year hit, something came up. I had this responsibility as a co-op board president and I kind of like put acting on the side. But once I did that, I wasn't like, I completely withdrew and felt comfortable completely comfortable. I wasn't missing anything. I'm now starting to wonder, is that okay? <laughs> Here's what I wish. I wish that we can have some meaningful chats in 2024. That's what I wish. I wish that we can become friends and I do want to, I want to give it a shot again. So by the way, Ron and I were in the car today and he was like, oh, from this angle, you look like Halle Berry. I was like, when was the last time you saw a picture of Halle Berry? There is no way in hell I resemble Halle Berry. Even though it's coming from this allergy test, it's gonna be in one of my videos coming up soon. So I'm walking this way and this guy's coming up this way and I'm just minding my own business. I, I think it was like in my headphones and I was thinking about something, but he's talking to me while he's walking towards me and I just kept ignoring him. And then when he passed me, he stopped and it was like, yo, you look like Zoe Saldana. You look like Zoe Saldana. He starts screaming on Times Square. It was like not really crowded. It was the middle of the day. Who are all these people who are high on drugs telling me that I look like Zoe Saldana? And when I say who are all these people, that was not the first time I heard it. First of all, <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend that I'm not flattered, but I think if, I, if you could compare me to anybody, I would say Ni Naomi Harris. I look kind of like Naomi Harris. Zoe Zaldana, like, why not see what everybody else is seeing? Like, when I look in the mirror, like, I understand that, like, people body shame themselves. Like, they look in the mirror and they think they're, like, disgusting. When the rest of us, we look at them and we're like, wow, you're wonderful. So, of course. In, in, in those situations, I think people's perspective can be so severely distorted that they're seeing themselves as something that is not a reflection of reality. So I'm like, when I look at my face in the mirror, am I so distorted in my perception that I'm seeing something different from what other people see? I, I wish I looked like Zoe Zaldana. I, I do, but really? And of course, Ron in the car was like, oh yeah, I could see that. She had dinner at my place uh, some day when she was dating Bradley Cooper and something, something. First of all, I had no idea up until today that apparently it's very old news and they did a movie together, which I was like, Any anyway, full circle. 
Do you see why I'm the worst actor ever in life? Because I was just like shocked at all of this news. I'm just like, where have I been? Like, why am I 36 and I don't know this? This is the consequence of being a loner. No, I don't want to give loners a bad rap because loners are really smart people who are really connected to themselves. Usually some of the most self-aware people you'll ever meet. When I say well-informed because they're participating in life in their own ways. So the fact that I'm like, don't know basic common knowledge type stuff. I don't know what the latest TV shows are. I don't know what the, I feel like these are things that I sh really should know. You know what? I actually wish this was alive. I wish this was alive and we were like, oh, somebody, somebody that I'm following is doing, was doing a live today. Oh shit, I think, I've, I think I missed it. Oh, damn it. Oh. <gasps> hmm. What if I did a live like on Christmas day when nobody would show up because everybody's with their families and friends? <laughs> I don't know how long I expect this video to be. What if I did this as a thumbnail? Anyway, I should go. If you're subscribed and you're watching this, you're probably gonna watch this and just be like, I'm unsubscribing, probably what you're gonna do. But the thing is, if you're not subscribed and you clicked into this, can you actually sit down and watch this video? Like, is that even, like, what is people's attention spans and what do people care about? <laughs> um, I don't know, but I'm learning. I'm learning that slowly and painfully. I flowered my hair yesterday. I completely ripped out a good, good chunk, good chunk of my hair. Oh my God, I just got this thing in the mail. Ooh. Okay, look. Last thing before I go, before Ron and I leave. So I'm going to try this. I saw this on a YouTube channel and it's, what is it? It's a keratin thing. Look at the package, it's like all, I got this from Amazon yesterday. I mean, honestly, the, the package wasn't even sealed. This is like somebody's used stuff that Amazon just sent me. Is this expired? No, no, it's not expired. I'm gonna try the entire thing. And I'm gonna do a video on this. Oh my God, I have this other keratin product coming in the mail. The worst customer service I have ever seen on the face of, it's already a month late. I didn't wash my hair for three weeks because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna wait for this product. It's late. And I'm messaging the people like nonstop and they're just being very dismissive. I'm like, oh, we understand. We're so sorry. We're working on it. They didn't even offer me to give me my money back. Terrible. Anyway, I'm gonna try this. Oh my God, if you had seen my hair two days ago when I washed it, this much overgrowth. It's so thick. Oh, I actually think I might have footage of that. I might even insert it in this video. So it's four, four products, two shampoos, one conditioner, and then the keratin thing. Maybe it's like way too damaged to try this product, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway because yeah. I mean, it's not that I have low standards for myself. It's not that really. It's just, it's just sometimes I just want to see what would happen. You know, it's just sometimes I'm just kind of curious at my own expense. Okay, so that I said I was gonna go now, right? So. <laughs> My iPad just literally died on me and I thought, wow, okay, great. So it was meant to be, uh, the video didn't get saved and it didn't get recorded and I'm gonna move on with my life. And then I moisturize my lips better. Mm. Mm. No, anyway, ew. What? I don't even know what, that, that's not even me. Why did I do that? Anyway, well, apparently it must be me because it came out of me, right? Everything that comes out of me is me. But then <laughs> I turn my, my thing and I'm like, just putting into charge and then the video save thing came up and I was like, I have to post it. So post, post it. Actually, this brings me back to, oh God, anyway. No, I'm leaving, bye.